Hi guys, today I'm going to be attempting my very first microneedling facial. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit intimidated, but I've done a lot of research, so I feel pretty confident that I'm going to be okay. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Joan Johnson, and this is Beauty Over 50 on a Budget, where I do body contouring, body sculpting, and sprinkle in a little bit of anti-aging and skincare. If this sounds good to you, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. I post new videos every week. I've done a lot of research on microneedling and I'm really excited to try it. I'm interested in the anti-aging of course, the promoting of collagen and elastin, and I really just want to, I want to smooth out my skin. I have not taken care of my skin. I am well into my 50s and I just think it's time to really start digging in and taking care of it. I chose to use the Dr. Pin 8. This is the numbing cream I decided to use. And this is the hyaluronic acid serum that I'm gonna be using today. I'm really excited to try this. I'm a little bit scared, not gonna lie, but I'm super excited. Okay, here we go. I'm super excited and nervous at the same time. This is my very first time trying microneedling, so I'm a little bit scared and apprehensive. I have alcohol, I have all of my supplies right here. So I'm just going to put alcohol on my face, make sure it's, I cleansed it, but Make sure it's all sanitized. I'm gonna make sure that the top of my hyaluronic acid is sanitized because I'll be touching it, as well as I have my alcohol pads right in front of me so I can just tap my hands on them to make sure that my hands stay sanitized. <clears throat> Like I said, I'm super excited. I'm gonna be using the Dr. Pin. This is the Dr. Pin 8. And I'm going to be using the cartridges on the 16 pin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and load everything up right now. I have my pin set at zero. And then I'm just going to pop this in here. And it just kind of snaps in. This is the numbing cream that I'm going to be using. I'm just going to put it all over my face. Never tried this before either. This is all new to me. I'm gonna wash this off my hands and I'll see you in about 10 minutes. I feel pretty numb. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start because this is my first time. I won't go too deep. It's gonna sterilize my face again. Just wanna be safe. Make sure that you're good and sterilized. I'm going to start out slow. I have it on a 0.25 on level 1 because I'm not sure what to expect. Not too bad. Feels like a little bit of like a stinging.
good and warm. So I'm gonna try and go up a notch and go over my face again. So this is a point, point 0.5. I just finished my very first microneedling. It was not bad at all. Not what I expected. Nothing to be fearful of. I feel like I took it pretty slow. I only numbed for 10 minutes because I, I didn't want to feel a lot of pain, but I wanted to know if I was going too deep. And I feel like I achieved that. I have some blood spots here, 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 up here, and right here around my eyes, and here, a little bit down here. The research that I've done, it takes about 15 minutes for the injuries to start to heal and to close up. So I'll wait a few more minutes, and then I will wash my face and then I'm going to lay under my LED light to help the healing process. I feel really great after my microneedling. I'm not gonna lie, I was very intimidated. I was scared to death, to be honest, because I did not know what to expect. But I'm super proud of myself for trying it and stepping out and trying something new. I feel pretty empowered right now, even though it was something simple like this. So I set, I started out slow. I numbed my face for 10 minutes. Then I, sit, I wiped it all down with alcohol to make sure everything was sanitized. I had an alcohol pad right in front of me so I was able to um, sanitize my hands 
before I touched my face at all, at all times. Then I set my doctor pin on speed one and I had a 16 pin cartridge loaded in it and the depth of 0.25 because I did not know what to expect. I went all over my face one, one time with the depth 0.25 and the speed one. So then I felt a little braver, so I moved it up to 0 0.50 depth and I left it on speed one. And I did all over my face again. And then the reason I'm, I'm redder through here is because I bumped it up again to a 1.0 depth and I redid this area right through here. Because I had really bad acne when I was a kid and I still have a little bit of scarring right through here. So I wanted to, to really hit that. So I got, I got a little bit deeper through here. I had very few little blood spots. A few here on my brow bone and a few on my lip and a couple here. I didn't really have any other blood spots. But I feel kind of tight in red it does feel like a sunburn. That's what everybody says, um, and it does. That's what it feels like. I took a shower and I, I rinsed my face with lukewarm water. Then I laid under my LED light for 20 minutes with nothing on it. And then when I got done with my light, I reapplied some hyaluronic acid, the same hyaluronic acid that I used for my microneedling. So I'll continue to put that on throughout the night and I'll take a picture tomorrow. I don't think that I'm gonna have any, I might be a little bit red, but this is, the redness here is already starting to go away. So I probably won't even be red tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see. So I will take a picture tomorrow and then I will continue to do this. They say you should do it once a month, and I will do that. So I will post 12 consecutive microneedlings on my channel, one a month, and then we'll see how my skin improves. Everything I use in this video has links in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know. Like and subscribe and leave a comment down below.